Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI again. In last video, we have seen what is linear regression and uh, how to apply linear regression. Now let's jump into the demo part using scikit-learn and Jupyter Notebook. Now let's jump to the demo part and let's understand how to do this in the Jupyter Notebook. Let me start the Anaconda prompt. I'll go to start and I'll search for Anaconda prompt. And here I will provide a path to the machine learning notebook that I have previously created. So this is the path where I have stored my machine learning notebooks. So I'll just copy that path and I'll paste it here in the Anaconda prompt. Let me press enter. And now I can start the Jupyter notebook by saying J U P Y T E R notebook. All right, so now the Jupyter Notebook is started on the browser. So basically, Jupyter Notebook is a browser-based IDE that uh, we can use to create machine learning models. This is how my housing price prediction notebook look like, where we are going to use a linear regression for housing price prediction, okay? And the data that we are going to use is a toy data for now. So this is the data which is given in the table where we have three columns that is test ID size in the square feet that is X column actual price in thousand dollars that is Y column so the input column is given this is the output column so this is the previous data where we have right answers given we need to find more right ones so this is supervised learning and based on this when the new data is exposed to the model say we don't have 750 square feet house given here right so we want to predict we can also predict that going forward so let's see how can we create a machine learning model out of this and predict the cost of the house in future so first of all i'm ignoring warnings and let me execute this tab i'll use shift enter to execute this and uh, and in this sale i'm preparing my x and y my x is a x column as you can see 300 300 500 500 600 800 1200 1500 1750 2000 and uh, 2200 so this is my x column that i have prepared in the x variable similarly i have prepared my y column something like this let me execute this now let me import matplotlib so that i can visualize the nature of the data and also I want to see how that line will look like when the machine draws that line for that I'm using matplot so this is one of the Python library which is used to visualize the data and uh, here I'm plotting my data where the title of this plot is price of the house plotted against size of the house in square feet x label y label and we are plotting x and y and uh, i'm representing it with a dot and uh, plot it for 500 till 2500 0 to 500 so this is the range that i have specified show me a grid and plot the graph and now we can see the data points which we have here they are very much linear so i can think of using linear regression algorithm here right i know this is really basic example we are just taking a toy data here just to get started with just to understand the basic machine learning algorithm how to prepare your notebook and how to create our first model so that we can predict the future output and now as i told you we are using scikit learn so i'm importing linear regression from scikit learn library so this is the algorithm that i'm preparing here and i'm doing a simple model dot fit that's it so model dot fit does the all thing for you the model dot fit will do everything in behind and it will create it will train your model based on the X and Y column that you have prepared here. Okay, now your model is ready. The linear regression model is ready. Let's plot and see how machine drawn the line over the data. So this is how 
a line over the data looks like so this is the best fitting line that is drawn by machine i am not drawing this how this has been drawn we are going to see that in the next video uh, but for now you can see that i have used model dot predict to draw this line okay so we prepared our model and i'm just doing model dot predict to draw this line here in the plot okay so now you can say that your first machine learning model is ready and you are ready to predict the future outputs once the line is drawn your model is ready right now you give any data to this machine learning model this machine learning model will with, with the help of this line it will predict the price of the house going ahead okay now let's evaluate our machine learning model here so i'm importing some interactive model so that i can visualize and interact and provide a slider so this is the interactive widget that i have embedded within the jupyter notebook that's the beauty of this jupyter notebook if you can see i have created a house price predict function and we are passing a size to this function and based on the size given to this function we are printing a provided square foot house should cost around and we are calling a model dot predict and we are passing the size which has been provided to this function and now i'm using i widget here so that i can use the slider here so that i can provide the size of the house something like this so as i move this slider this function will get called for every movement that we are doing here right now let's say we want to know the 945 square foot house price then i can see that here the 945 square foot house should cost around $249,000, right? So this is how we are predicting the cost of the house, the price of the house. And we have not written any equation here. We have not written any logic here. We are just using model.predict. So based on the model that has been trained by the data, it has drawn that line. And based on this line, it is predicting price of the house. Now let's evaluate our model and let's also see what is the error we have in our model. And for this, I'm using something called residual sum square error. The error is also called a squared error or a residual sum square error. So the total residual sum square error that we have in our model is 2818.96. And this is really very high. How we are calculating this? is with the help of numpy library in the python i'm using numpy.mean and i'm getting the error here so what exactly this residual sum square error stands for so as i told you before the residual sum square error is nothing but the distance from the line drawn and the data set the actual data point actual data point which is given and the line drawn by the machine right not for only one data set it for all the data sets so it is calculating a distance between the line drawn and the data set and the, and we are taking a mean of this error and that's what the residual sum square error stands for is residual means the left over error right so these orange lines here are nothing but the error in our model okay coming back to a notebook so here we have got the residual sum square error on the given data on the train data that means uh, the data which is already known to a, a model now let's evaluate our model and let's see how our model will behave when the new data is given to our model okay for that we are preparing a table again we are providing a new data set you can see that this data set is a new data set now we haven't provided 250 square feet house before 400 500 750 1200 and these are the actual prices of the house given here and this is what the predicted price is in thousand dollars by the machine okay so what i'm saying here is we are going to provide a new data which is not given before to a model and let's see how it performs what is the error that we are going to get so to test my model i have again prepared x test and y test this is my new data set okay and the previous data set is called training data which i have already where i have already trained my data set by providing this data right so this data is same as the data that we have provided before right 
so i'm not providing this data now i'm preparing new x and y and i'm calling it as x test and y test and this is the data that i'm providing this is the data that i'm providing to model so this is the same data x column y column that i'm providing to a model now now let me see a error that i'm getting on the new data so the residual sum square error for the new data provided to a model i'm not doing model dot fit here i'm directly saying model dot predict okay if i do model dot fit that means this data will be trained again i'm not showing this data to a model again i'm just doing model dot predict my model is already trained on the same model i'm using model dot predict directly and for x test and y test right and for this new data the error that i'm getting is 3041 if you compare this with the train data that is 2818 so which is a little bit more than the training data right so when i have tested my model on the new data this is what the error that i'm getting on the new data and what is this residual sum square error this error is nothing but the actual price and the predicted price by the models and if i take a mean of this i will get the sum square error residual sum square error let me draw it for new data that is x test and y test let's see how the data point look like so this is how the data look like on the plot and you can see there is more diversion that the than the original data so the line which will be drawn is not so closer to the data points right so definitely will get more error okay you can compare this data set with the original data set here so this looks more linear right this looks more linear whereas the new data which i have provided is not so linear so definitely my error will increase just to cross check what is the predicted price that i am getting for my model let me use the i widget here and uh, let me provide 250 square feet and let's see what is the predicted price that i'm getting here so i'll say 250 square feet house and it goes somewhere around 124000 dollars a 250 square feet house should cost around 124000 dollars right whereas the actual price of 250 square feet house is 100 dollars and the predicted is 124 so the error is 24000 dollars so similarly we can check this for other data inputs let's let's check it for one more data input say 1200 for 1200 square feet house the actual price that we are getting is 200 and let's see what is the predicted price that we are getting with the help of our model so 1200 i'll provide here for 1200 square feet house that should cost around 295000 okay as you can see the 1200 square feet house should the actual price of 1200 square feet house is 200000 and the predicted is 295000 okay so this is the predict these are the predicted values that we are getting with the help of the model that we have prepared and boom that's it congratulations so we are ready with our first machine learning algorithm we have learned our first first machine learning algorithm that is linear regression and this is with one variable so currently we have used only one variable one column to provide a uh, input to the model going ahead in next videos we'll see how can we do it for number of columns when the data set will not be so easy right the data which we get is a mess right the data which we get will have a thousands of rows and 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 many columns so how i can clean the data how i can consider the columns which columns to consider and uh, how can i get the better and better accuracy that we are going to see in upcoming videos so that is it for now in this video thanks a lot in next video we'll see how machine draws a best fitting line over the data please make sure to like and subscribe thank you bye bye